Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Welcome to First Baptist Church of Bennington, Vermont. We are delighted to have you with us this cold Christmas morning. What do you expect? It's Vermont, right? So we get what we get. We are glad to have you with us for any who are uh, watching on the delayed broadcast and don't know who I am. I'm Dr. Alan Ingalls. Uh, I teach here in town at Northeastern Baptist College and I'm one of several men who is filling the pulpit right now in the absence of a pastor. And it is my delight and privilege to be able to share the word with you this Christmas morning. We want to take time now for our music meditation. A music meditation is our time to calm our hearts, to focus our minds, and to prepare them for worship. One small child in a land of a thousand, one small dream of a savior tonight, one small hand reaching out in the starlight, one small city of light, oh, 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 oh. one king bringing his gold and his riches, one king ruling an army of might, one king kneeling with incense and candlelight, one king bringing us light, oh, 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 oh. see him lying a cradle beneath him, see him smiling in the stall, see his mother praising the father, see tiny eyelids fall. One small child in a land of a thousand, one small dream of a savior tonight, one small hand reaching out to the starlight, one small city of life. Oh, 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 oh. I can think of no more fitting call to worship for us this morning than the words of the angels to the shepherds when they announced the birth of Jesus outside of Bethlehem. They said, glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace among those with whom he is pleased. Let's pray. Father, we are thankful today that you were willing to send your son, not just a, a, a short-term mission, not a week, not two, but to spend a lifetime among us, that he might be one of us and die as our Savior. We praise you. We thank you. We glorify you today for that gift of love that you have given to us. We pray now as we worship, as we continue to focus on the meaning of this special day, that you help us to glorify you in all that we say and do. In Jesus' name, amen. Our first hymn this morning is, I think, a familiar one. Hark the Herald Angels Sing, number 97. Right. 
In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things were made through him, and without him was not anything made that was made. In him was life, and the life was the light of men. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. And the Word became flesh and dwelt among us. And we have seen his glory, glory as of the only Son from the Father, full of grace and truth. Let's join together and sing hymn number 93. Hymn number 93, Angels We Have Heard on High. It'll take Byron a minute to get back there. <laughs> He's doing double duty this morning. <laughs>
Scripture reading this morning is from Luke chapter 2. Luke chapter 2, verses 1 through 21. In those days, a decree went out from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be registered. This was the first registration when Quirinius was governor of Syria. And all went to be registered, each to his own town. And Joseph also went up from Galilee, from the town of Nazareth, to Judea to the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and lineage of David, to be registered with Mary, his betrothed, who was with child. And while they were there, the time came for her to give birth. And she gave birth to her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling cloths and laid him in a manger, because there was no place for them in the inn. And in the same region, there were shepherds out in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. And an angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were filled with fear. And the angel said to them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all the people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is Christ the Lord. And this will be a sign for you. You will find a baby wrapped in swaddling cloths and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace among those with whom he is pleased. When the angels went away from them into heaven, the, angels, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go over to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has made known to us. And they went with haste, and they found Mary and Joseph and the baby lying in a manger. And when they saw it, they made known the saying that had been told them concerning this child. And all who heard it wondered at what the shepherds told them. But Mary treasured up all these things, pondering them in her heart. And the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen, as it had been told them. And at the end of eight days, when he was circumcised, he was called Jesus, the name given by the angel before he was conceived in the womb. May God add his blessing to the reading of his word. We take time now for the offertory. As you know, we don't pass the plate in these days. There's a, yes, it's there. The plate is down at the front. And some of you have, have uh, put your uh, contributions, your offering in before the service. If you did not get a chance to do that, you can, of course, do that after. If you're someone who watches the, the videos regularly online and feels like you're a, a part of this ministry and want to contribute to the 
to the outreach of this ministry. You can find our website online at uh, fbcbennington.org and uh, find the address of the church and, and send in something to contribute to the ministry. It's, it's incumbent upon God's people to contribute. And the gifts we give are so minuscule compared to the gift that God has given us. Gift that we celebrate today. I heard the bells on Christmas Day, their old familiar carols play, and wild and sweet the words repeat of peace on earth, goodwill to men. I thought how as the day had come, the belfries of all Christendom had rolled along the unbroken song of peace on earth, goodwill to men. Till ringing, singing on its way, the world revolved from night and day. A voice, a chime, a chant sublime of peace on earth, goodwill to men. There is a short introduction to, to this version of the doxology, so wait for the introduction and jump right in with us. <laughs> take some time to pray for the needs of our community and our congregation. Let's remember uh, Charlie with the health issues he's facing. Uh, you probably